You know that Allah Almighty has created us from Adam. May peace be upon him. Adam alayhi salam was created from soil, from dust, mixed with water, then given shape, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Be, and he was. Then Allah Almighty created Eve or Hawa, according to the narrations from Adam alayhi salam. So once the two of them were created in a unique way, then Allah Almighty decided that reproduction will be in a way where you have a mother and a father and you will have children and they will reproduce by means of giving birth. And Allah kept a special connection between parents and children. It is a unique, natural connection to begin with, inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As much as we call things natural. Remember, nature is something that was created by Allah Almighty in the first place. So for us, we may say something is natural, but in actual fact, for Allah, it was designed by Him, it was planned by Him, it was intended by Him. Imagine if there was no connection between parents and children, like some creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How would children survive? They need someone from the very beginning to take care of them because that's the plan of Allah. He wanted it that way. So there are people who have children with ease and others do not have children with that much of ease and some may never have children. Allah Almighty mentions this in the Quran. لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ يَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ إِنَاثًا وَيَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ الذُّكُورِ أَوْ يُزَوِّجُهُمْ ذُكْرَانًا وَإِنَاثًا وَيَجْعَلُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ عَقِيمًا Allahu Akbar. Allah says, to him belongs the heavens and the earth or the skies and the earth. He creates what he wishes, how he wishes. He gives whomsoever he wishes, female children only. And he gives those whom he wishes, male children only. And he gives some, no children. He doesn't give them children. In other words, they are barren. They don't have children or for whatever reason, or he actually grants both male and female to some. That is Allah. That is Allah Almighty. He decides. So people would like to have children, mashallah, tabarakallah. But it is a very big responsibility. It is a gift of Allah. Ask those who don't have children. They are praying. They are making dua. Oh Allah, bless us with children and so on. Ask those who don't have children how desperately they want to have children. Then the others who just have children, it's by the way. They don't even consider it a gift at times and they are not even bothered. It is a challenge.